We're joined now by the Oscar-nominated actor you know from movies like Chicago, Gangs of New York, Step Brothers, John C. Riley, starring the new TV series Winning Time, The Rise of the Lakers Dynasty right now. Welcome back to GMA. Thank you very much. Good so to be you, here. you are playing legendary Los Angeles Lakers owner Jerry Buss. Tell us about what that's been like. Oh, it's been an amazing odyssey. You know, we started it before the pandemic, actually, so the show is finally coming out, but... Man, what an incredible American Jerry Buss was <laughs> to go from Depression era Wyoming with a single mom to like the king of L.A. and changing the whole world of entertainment by way of sports. Like it was it was an honor, I have to say, and really exciting. Like this, the beats of this story, like everyone knows what happened maybe with the technical, the wins and losses of that team that year. But when you know what was happening behind the scenes, yeah. it's stunning you know like the fact that he pulls it off is a, literally a miracle so you never got to meet bus but i know you're at the lebron's 56 point game last week you got to meet genie bus his daughter now the president of the lakers how'd that go it went unexpectedly really well you know <laughs> because i i would imagine it was kind of awkward for her yeah. to have someone playing her dad you know in this sort of semi-fictional way because he was a pretty private guy but she was really gracious gracious she came up to me yeah. she was like i just you know i can't really speak to like our involvement with the project because the, the, you know the, the lakers organization is not involved with the project officially you know but she said i want you to know that my dad knew who you were and he was a big fan of Mr. Cellophane in oh, Chicago, wow. the musical. Yeah. <laughs> he loved musicals. Yeah. And he, he specifically talked to me about you and said that he really liked how you could make people laugh or cry. Like that was the mark of a great actor. I, I'm telling you, I literally started to cry yeah. talking to her. I was like, because I thought maybe we were going to be kicked out of the stadium, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but it like, yeah. So she was amazingly gracious and... Um, it was kind of surreal yeah. looking into her eyes after doing all these scenes, oh, wow. playing with Hadley Robinson, playing her daughter, you know, uh, playing her in the show, like looking at his real daughter. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. It's like I was having this kind of meta experience anyway. Oh, what a great she story. She was wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great story. And she's wonderful. You, you get the part and then seven days later you start shooting. So how much time did you have? To kind of <laughs> I had seven days. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just enough time to get the comb over working and uh, get that fake mustache on. But you know, then we had the break for the lockdown. Right. So we were able to get ready a little bit better. But um, the guy's story is just such an incredible inspiration you know what he did he had, a, he had a doctorate or he had a phd in physical chemistry i mean what are the sports team owners do you know like could teach chemistry like <laughs> Anyway, so when you I got kicked out of chemistry days? class in high school, so I'm in awe of it. Yeah. When you only have seven days, what do you do? Just full immersion? Well, I was lucky to be working with Adam McKay, who I've worked with before, and we improvise a lot together. So I knew Adam would have my back. And I knew that this character I really related to, you know, the, his, the power of positive thinking and, uh, you know, all the things that Jerry felt like an outsider when he came to L.A., like most people do in this big fancy place, you know. I came from Chicago, so... Um, it was a, it was a similar story you know even though he achieved things that <laughs> i don't know if i'm going to be able to achieve <laughs> world changing you know things by the time i die but um but i felt enough in common with him you know uh, well you only had seven days so let's see how the work came out with only well, seven <laughs> days of prep uh, we do have a clip we want to share let's take a look from here on out we are playing to win every game now, that's going to cost me some money, and that's my business. But the investment that I need from each and every one of you is everything else. That look is pretty good. Thank that you. That look is yeah. pretty good. Now, <laughs> Comb overs work. That's the lesson I learned. Yeah, Did yeah. you like, what was it like looking at yourself in all the, that fashion, in particular his fashion? He was unique. Well, I'm a pretty formal person, actually. Yeah. You know, like, I never wear my shirts open, ever. Like, <laughs> Uh, so to play someone who was so body positive was pretty great. It was pretty fun. And, uh, and men in 1979, they had a pretty good thing going, you know, drinking at the office and all the socializing that was going on in L.A. at the time at the discos and stuff. But, um, I mean, besides all that, Jerry had this kind of wild reputation as someone who liked to enjoy his life, let's say. But behind the scenes, that was a really, you know, a determined guy. Incredibly inspiring.
we want to go behind the scenes when you travel to Ireland coming up because you're going to be the guest of honor for St. Patrick's Day. Wow. Exactly. Wow. So this is a big scoop for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It was only announced in Ireland five minutes ago, but I have been selected as the international guest of honor for Dublin St. Patrick Festival this year. Oh, oh, there you go. It's the first time in two years that it's happening, so like everyone in Ireland is so excited to come out and celebrate again. What are you excited about? Well, I, I'm, I'm going to meet the president of Ireland. It's not every day you get to meet the president. Um, yeah, I'm just excited to just have some joy in our lives. You know, it's been a lot of darkness lately, and um, and I'm just really, I'm really excited. I love the music and culture of Ireland. I have a deep connection to it for some reason. My, my family a background is Irish, but. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the, an open car and, you know, <laughs> that's... Well, thank you. Hopefully you're not going to make me walk. That's, <laughs> thank you for bringing us the best breaking news we've had on GMA. Yeah, yeah, long time. Time. <laughs> Glad to deliver for you. <laughs> Winning time. The Rise of the Lakers Dynasty airs on HBO with Vail to stream on HBO Max. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.